All right, all right, here we go, all right? Now what we're trying to figure out, relative to the sample here, is we've already decided we're gonna do number one, number four wine, which is the top on the right-hand side here as it goes through the machine. So you can read it as it's going through the machine, okay. if you have that option, okay? So we've decided that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create reference points to make it easy for us to mount. Bear in mind that everything we do, ultimately, we're going to document as part of that product's product structure so that the next time this job goes out, you just associate it by product ID and it pulls out all this information and all this investment we're doing now will pay off dividend, great dividends later when it tells you position is this, wine is that, web position is that. Everything we start to document and associate it with that product ID, when these work orders come out, man, you're going to love that, okay? okay? So here's the deal. So now we're going to try to figure out. You see you have the overall web width, right? That's six inches. Then this label happens to be five and a half inches this way. We're not gonna concern ourselves with the dimension this way yet, okay? We have one plate around the cylinder. We're not worried about it. It's just gonna fall where it is. But we are interested in its position relative to the web side to side, okay? So now we're gonna do a little bit of, we're gonna kinda work that through. So let's say this is our web. We're just cutting it off here. All right, this is our web. This is our label here, right? All right, so what's the overall web width? Six inches. Okay. What's the label width? Five and a half. Okay, now, first thing we can observe for here is still that half the difference rule applies. What's the difference? Quarter inch on each side. No, what's the difference? Oh, ha um, a half an inch. Half inch. What's half of that? Quarter. Divided by two equals one quarter inch, right? All right, now I accept your quarter inch answer, but the question was, uh, what was the difference? So on each side of here, we're going to have a quarter inch and one quarter inch, okay? Because that's half the difference of five and a half and six. Okay. And now you know, one quarter, five and three quarters, six. Okay. So everything matches, okay? So now, relative to this edge is where we're concerned with. And that happens to be, get a little, Thank you. Well, it looks like 3.30 seconds, which is between... What are you measuring then? I'm measuring from the top of the black ink, uh, you know, calling uh, the top this way, okay. to the edge of the cut. Okay. And I'm saying it's, I'm going to call it an eighth of an inch. Unless, Danny, you know that to be anything different. Where are you just basically even it up the front and back and side to side for even? Okay, so you're going to uh, give it an okay. even margin around, right? Okay. okay. And we can tweak that in the machine. For the sake of the discussion, we're going to call that one-eighth of an inch, okay? So therefore, what we have is the top of the plate starts one-eighth of an inch in here, okay? So now we have from the edge of the material to the top of the black bar, what do we have? One-eighth plus one-quarter equals three-eighths. Okay. Now we have some information. The information we have is that relative to the edge of the web, we need to position that black plate three eighths of an inch in. Three eighths of an inch in. Okay? Now, we can do that a couple of ways. We can just go to the press now. Well, we're actually, we have the web center, and everything should be basically theoretically based on the center, right? All right. So now we're going to take a center point. By the way, all this becomes much easier when uh, you practice. And also, you're not going to be doing this. This is going to be done automatically. You can set up at spreadsheets. You enter these parameters, and all you, you do is put in a few key things, and it does all this for you. Okay? So, but we're going through the exercise. Well, you mean to reference back to, right? Like when you pull this job up, and we have it mounted again, we just look at a piece of paper. And we That's it. right. Instead of having to do all the figuring. That's know. right. I don't think we have a computer in here. No, you don't need a computer. Yeah, yeah you will ultimately. So we we'll have a computer in here. Yeah, but, but so for right now, you're going to get a work order that comes with all the information. Okay. You don't have to do anything on computer. But when, when that work order comes up, that's going to be, they're going to rely on us and me to come up with that information, right? On, on very Initially, very yes. Mm -hmm. But what we're going to do is de skill that process so much that all they have to do is put the label parameters up front, ask the correct questions, and you get all that information. You are not mathematicians, you are operators, and we need to get this press running. All that needs to be figured out in right, advance, right, okay. and that can all be settled. Yeah, so but I need to understand. Time to go all yeah, that. I know. And I'm telling you now, 
I need you to just understand the concept and see how it happens and appreciate that it's going to come to you correct. Okay? So now, we have this information. We have, we're basing everything. Remember, we're going to base everything on the center, okay? So the center is here. If if the center line is in the middle of the substrate, what's the distance out to the edge of the substrate? The substrate is three six inches. inches. It's three inches, right? So this is three inches, what we're talking about right here, right? Okay. But we moved in from that center point. So minus three eighths. Right. Three okay. inches minus three eighths inches. Yeah, hold on a second. Three inches minus one, two, three eighths would be two and uh, five eighths. I agree. It goes two and five eighths. So now what do we have? Relative to our center line, we need to come out two and five eighths inches with the top of the black plate. And that's the number we're after. Because what we're going to do is, here's our cylinder. Now we just, we're going to base everything on the center line of the machine. That's going to be the reference for everything. So we just need to determine what the center of the cylinder is and go two and five eighths inches from that center point. That's the top of our black plate and, and that's it. It's done. And we benefit from this going forward, okay? And this, when you do this exercise over and over again, this becomes very simple even if you have to do it, even if you have to figure it out for somebody. But because it's based on, you know, a center line and simple math, it's easy to put that into software or spreadsheet or even on a piece of paper that you just fill in the blanks and it tells you what to do with each thing and you come up with that number, okay? All right, so that's it for that.